CNN fired you for speech they deemed anti-Semitic. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they they still haven't told me that. Mm-hmm. They never told me it was uh, anti-Semitic, and it wasn't anti-Semitic. Well, for people that don't know, what did you say that that allegedly got you fired? We're gonna play that got clip you fired. We have an opportunity to not just offer solidarity in words, but to commit to political action, local action, and international action that will give us what justice requires, and that is a free Palestine from the river to the sea. Yeah, I, I gave a speech at the United Nations. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't like I had like a one-liner. It was a 22-minute speech mm-hmm. uh, where I laid out a criticism of the Israeli government. After you came from Palestine. After I came from Palestine. I got off the plane, went straight there. Mm-hmm. And after I gave that interview, there was some pushback. Some people were criticizing me. And then the next morning, I got a call from CNN. Mm-hmm. And they said that um, that the speech was not in line with their values. Mm-hmm. I said, well, which part of the speech? Did y'all oh, hear my. the whole speech? <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't even tell me that. They didn't tell me you know, what part of the speech. They didn't tell me how much of the speech. They didn't. It's just, just the whole speech. So I said, cool. And that was kind of the end of that conversation. A lot of people focused on the last line of the speech where I said, free Palestine from the river to the sea. There comes a point in your life and in your work where you have to take a principled stand and some people aren't going to agree with you. Right. I stand with a firm critique of Israel. I stand on, on, in solidarity with Palestinian people and I also stand against anti-Semitism. Those aren't competing claims. You know what I mean? You can, you can, you can love Jewish people and say that Jewish lives are not worth more than Palestinian lives that Israeli lives are not worth more than Palestinian lives. And I can say also that everybody who criticizes Israel doesn't hate Jews, and, and I would hope that most don't. You know, It's th- interesting because a lot of criticism will come from people who don't really know what's going on and have never been there. Right. And when you go there and you're walking through a place like Isawiya and I'm watching a, an 80-year-old man have to pull down his pants at a checkpoint, the, the lack of, when I'm watching children go through checkpoints, the ritual humiliation of being a child walking through checkpoints, when I'm when I'm watching women have to go the go go through forests and and and, and, and bushes to go around checkpoints, eight, eighty and ninety year old women to sell to sell vegetables in East Jerusalem and then they get fined and they lose all their money. When I'm watching children getting beaten with nightsticks, when I'm watching stop and frisk on Via Della Rosa, the the, the very walkway where Jesus uh, occupied the seven stations of the cross, when I'm watching that happen, and I'm also watching children being stopped and frisked, which is outside the tradition of any religion. When I'm watching people being killed and maimed and I'm, I'm watching this, there's no way I can see that and not speak out against it. Right.